travel lovers. Hi, so today we're saying hello to you from Warsaw, the capital of Poland. And specifically in today's video, we're actually going to head to the old town of Warsaw. As some of you may or may not know, after the Second World War, 85% of Warsaw was destroyed. So I'm actually going to show some footage of how Warsaw looked during that time and it was actually under the SS chief's orders. The city must completely disappear from the surface of the earth and only serve as a transport station for the Wehrmacht. No stone can remain standing. Every building must be raised to its foundation. And even Hitler himself said, Warsaw has to be pacified, that is, raised to the ground. So these two guys wanted to completely obliterate Warsaw. They didn't want it to exist. And what's really fascinating is that Warsaw's old town was actually rebuilt based on 17th and 18th century paintings mm. and is now protected by UNESCO. Wow. It's wow. amazing. There's even a really unique museum which loads of you guys have said we have to go and see. It's called the Warsaw Uprising or Rising Museum. So we're actually going to go tomorrow as Sundays are free. And yeah, we really can't wait to educate ourselves mm -hmm. on the uprising that happened here. Yeah, I think it's really important yeah. to learn about the history. Absolutely, yeah. I feel like, Justina, you're not really into history, but even you are like, wow, yeah. this is really, really Those impressive. Those things kind of fascinate me for sure. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do first before we go to the old town is we're gonna go to a mill bar that is just around the corner from our house we're super excited yeah. as always we're very hungry <laughs> and then we're gonna head into old town and see what it's all about so let's get going let's go. what has Justina got for us Ooh, wow look at this piece I think we got turkey cutlets oh yeah, yeah. turkey cutlets with mashed potatoes Cabbage salad and pumpkin soup with chickpeas, wow. peas, yeah. Very autumnal. Yeah, very autumnal. And is yeah. that compote? Compote, yes. As per usual. Which yeah. I like to call Ribena. Yeah, Ribena in the UK. 26 zloty, so just over four pounds. It's actually one of the most popular mill bars here in Warsaw. Mm, it came yeah. up repeatedly, didn't exactly. it, on the surge, so yeah. that's really good. And I think the name of the mill bar means press. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just about to eat this turkey meatball and it comes with cucumber sauce. Mmm, that's fantastic. And they do so much here, guys. Of course, you have the typical stuff like pierogi and shkabovi. Um, I've seen loads of people with different types of soup, different types of meat. There's a really good menu here. I think this is one of the best mill bar dishes we've had so far while some Poland. Really? Yes. Strong statement. <laughs> okay, so we're all full and ready for the day. Oh, we got a friend here. <laughs> I really, really, really want to say it's a really beautiful autumnal day. <laughs> yes, I think that's perfect. Yes. Yeah. Go, Justina. Yeah, nice. So, what are we yeah. doing now, Misha? So, we're just oh, <laughs> we're riding a tram to the old town. It was about a 50 minute walk, and we just couldn't be bothered. And we just want to get there because we're so excited to see it. The tram is really easy to ride around. Uh, you can buy your tickets with this app called Jack and Jade or something, and it's about three slotty 40, so under a pound, about 80p. Pretty good. quite negative. Yeah. Everyone looks really like moody and on edge. So. Not the best first impressions. Maybe honest. some important person died? Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't see many protesters. Just people walking really slowly and the police officers look really scary and keep looking.
this is the main square guys as you can see some lovely restaurants on the outside then we have the center bit we have the mermaid just over there in the middle and more restaurants around the side there looking very nice enjoying yourself yes yeah it's a really nice day <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the dog. Come, 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 come. Hi! Hi! Oh, it's so sweet. Hello. Hi, Bella. Oh, it is so sweet. I love dogs. Okay, so behind me, there is a mermaid here in the old town. And there is a very nice legend about it. So there were fishermen fishing here near the old town in the river. And they realized that they captured something very strong and powerful. And they were really releasing their fish so we're like wait a second what is going on in the end they realized it was a mermaid and they decided to capture the mermaid but after she started singing they fell in love and they let her go how was she singing Justina oh. Unfortunately, a rich merchant captured the mermaid and imprisoned her. She started crying, so the fishermen came to rescue her. They let her go. So after the fishermen rescued the mermaid, she decided to come here, stand with a sword and shield to protect the city because she was rescued by lovely fishermen. So there we go. That's the legend. Lovely. Also, some people say that the one in Copenhagen is actually a sister of this mermaid. They wow. kind of just parted their separate ways from the Baltic Sea. <laughs> <laughs> we found Titanic made completely out of amber. That is pretty impressive. These streets are so nice around the old town, guys. Look at this. Actually, hardly any tourists down this end. We feel like we're in York right now. York in yeah. the UK. There's like a walled area. Yeah which we wasn't expecting at all. Yeah, it's like a remains of the castle. I don't know what it is actually, it could be a castle, although if it was destroyed, it wouldn't be remains of a castle. True, true, very good so point. So maybe it's like a museum. I'm so blonde. <laughs> Not sure, but anyways guys, this is really nice area. Old Town is kind of bigger than what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. um, they've done a really good job with the restoration, guys, honestly. You wouldn't even know. It's up there with like Gdansk or Poznan or what's it, Rostov? Bath, yeah, <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really nice area, and we're just casually walking around. A bit fresh, admittedly. So we are on the hunt for some coffee. My fingers are a bit numb from holding the camera for the first time in, I would say, about a year. They are literally numb. Okay, guys. So we were getting pretty cold outside, and plus we don't have jackets. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. We need to get some. We really do. It's getting really cold. It's getting it to that stage where it's kind of impossible to go outside without a jacket. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, my finger fell off. <laughs> so we decided to come to a coffee shop and yes. get some chai latte and some cake. Oh my god, which looks amazing. But yeah, first impressions of the old town here in Warsaw is amazing. Yeah, I personally didn't expect it to be so intimate and so small in terms of like the square on its own. Yes, yes. When we went to Krakow, it felt so big, so crowded, so touristy. Oh my God, yeah. Very, very different to Warsaw. Mm. So that is one big difference that I've noticed. And yeah. it's very surprising because the population here is 1.8 million. Yeah. It's a capital city. You would expect what we saw in Krakow to be here. Yeah. But I found Krakow to be more stressful. There was a lot more going on. There was a lot more Horses, a lot more touristy yeah. things going on, a lot more walking tours, but yeah. here you can kind of move around freely. I'm yeah, saying. it's a Saturday as well. Yes, yeah. so yeah. even more so you would expect it to be busy, but no. So, does that mean that people are most likely to visit Krakow instead of Warsaw? Maybe. Let us know in the comments, guys. Maybe it's because when you go to Krakow, you can go to obviously visit Auschwitz, you can go to Zakopane, you can go to the salt mines. Maybe, Maybe there's more to do around yeah, that area. More touristy yeah, in a sense overall than yeah. Warsaw it's just like a city yeah but still I, I would say I prefer Warsaw yeah I'm just gonna put it out there that's right guys we were talking about this and uh we didn't enjoy Krakow as much as we wanted to. Yeah. We definitely preferred Gdansk, Poznan, yeah. now Warsaw. Krakow would probably be number four, number five. Yes, yeah. Yes, it would. Yeah. And uh, guys, don't listen to our opinions. Yes, exactly. Um, Everyone's experience is very different. So, no hate, guys. We still enjoyed our time in Krakow, but we preferred other cities. <laughs>
still is a very gorgeous day here in Warsaw. I feel like the sun is there and it's... I feel like the... What happened? I opened up one side and the other side opened at the same time. Okay guys, so I think we're gonna end this video here because we have a vodka tour starting in an hour! <laughs> Super excited for that, so make sure you come back for that video, stay subscribed to our channel. For now, we're gonna say goodbye to this video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like it, share it with your friends, and as always, cheers, cheers to Frida! Woo!